Un momento diferente es el que vamos a compartir a continuación. Un espacio para abordar una temática vinculada con la tecnología aplicada al transporte desde la palabra de su creador. Se trata de Neil Koss, el fundador y CEO de Geotab, la compañía que es líder mundial en soluciones de transporte conectado. Koss visitó por primera vez la Argentina y nuestra producción pudo entrevistarlo de forma exclusiva en la central de logística integral Facundo, donde pudimos comprobar que se trata de un verdadero visionario de enorme valor para el segmento de logística y transporte. Con una licenciatura en Ingeniería Eléctrica de la Universidad de Witwatersrand en Johannesburgo, Sudáfrica, el empresario fundó esta compañía en el año 2000 con el único propósito de crear tecnología para que las organizaciones desbloqueen los datos de flotas de vehículos necesarios para tomar decisiones comerciales críticas. Y comenzamos preguntándole por la historia cronológica de la empresa, para saber cuál fue el origen de todo y cómo se logró un recorrido tan rápido desde ese día hasta hoy. Wow, this is a long time ago, you can tell by my age. Um, uh, we started in 2000 when we immigrated from South Africa to Canada. We started working out of the basement. And we started building the uh, the company up. Um, today we have 2,300 employees. Uh, we're a global company, the largest telematics company in the world. 3.5 million connected vehicles, and um, it's been a long journey. It's been a fun journey. Very much family business, uh, technology company. Um, yeah, and so it's um, yeah. That's how we got to where we are. A continuación, nos cuenta cuál es el enfoque principal de la empresa y cuántos clientes tiene en el mundo. We have around 45,000 customers globally and we're in literally every continent and in most most countries, maybe 150 countries around the world. Uh, very interesting small companies, so maybe somebody with one truck all the way up to the largest fleets in the world like the United States Postal Service, which has 320,000 trucks, one single customer. What's interesting is we're in Antarctica as well. There's no cellular networks in Antarctica, but we help with the uh, research that's going on in Antarctica. So we're in you know, the snowmobiles and the snow trucks that are on the ice there. So literally every continent is where Geotab is found. So yeah, very, very diverse set of customers, government, through to small, large business, um, across every, every different business. Veamos cuál es el principal beneficio de la perspectiva del cliente cuando firma un acuerdo con Geotab o utiliza la tecnología desarrollada por la compañía. We've always had this idea that you can't manage what you don't measure. And we think that if you want to be good at anything in life, any kind of business, you need to understand what's going on well in order to make good decisions. And really at the heart and soul, that's what Geotab is about. It's about measuring and understanding. Um, and so the way that our product is used is broken down into really five areas. So the first area is productivity. It's to make sure that your team is productive and they're doing what they should be doing. They're routed to the right locations. You know, they're not wasting time, caught in traffic. So that's number one. Number two, is managing the maintenance of the vehicle. So is the engine light on? What is the fuel consumption of the vehicle? Does it need to, is there a fault that needs to be maintained? Number three is sustainability. So it's to help the, the world move towards more sustainable vehicles. So helping reduce the amount of gas used or diesel, being able to move certain vehicles to electric vehicles as, as makes sense. The next, fourth one would be compliance. So, you know, am I meeting the compliance requirements? Are my truck drivers driving the right number of hours? Am I getting fuel tax rebates? Um, and then the final area is really around integrating into all of the systems in your business. What's interesting for us is we see us as a cog in a machine. So you can imagine like a big clock or something where you have all these cogs and they all connect together and each cog is a different application in your organization, right? Um, you know, whether it's maintenance systems or customer systems or accounting systems, and we're one of the cogs and we need to fit into the machine and drive the cogs in the rest of the machine in a good way to help push the information into the, into the, into the business. And so those are really 
the, the most important areas. And maybe the, the final point is that, um, you know, we see the future is really around AI. So obviously we, we've talked a lot about ChatGPT and, and the world that's happening there. These things are only powerful because they're driven by data. The more data you use, you give to the AI, the more AI is going to help us be more efficient and be better. And so we're very excited about the implication of all this AI to the future, helping us run better organizations and be better. Um, so big data and the AI stuff is also very, very important. And those are the main reasons why people use it. Toda esta tecnología desarrollada no solo ayuda al cliente final, sino también a Geotab. Y por su rol de director de la empresa, le preguntamos si ve que el crecimiento en los últimos 10 años se debe a eso. You know, we started this business back in 2000. And I'll be honest with you, I remember in 2000, there was a lot of pushback. Because in the early days, people said, this is spying. You know, I don't want to be tracked. People don't track. Um, and I remember being at a big conference, you know, as, as any good CEO should be. I was working in the conference behind the booth. And I remember the CEO of a big company coming up to me and he said to me, what are you guys doing? Uh, he had the, we had the product on the table and he was looking at it. He was going, oh, this is interesting. And I said, <clears throat> it's a product to track your fleet and your vehicles. And he says, no, no, no. He says, I'm not interested. I don't spy on my staff. Right? And it's interesting to see over the 10 years how, one, the perception has changed. It's not about spying, it's about efficiency, it helps everybody run a better organization. So we've seen that move. And then over the years, it's funny how telematics has gone from a nice to have, yeah, to something that is essential to running your business. And today, companies like Amazon, UPS, Mercado Libre, they can't run the businesses anymore if you don't have telematics. It's just, you know, it's like running it in the old days. And, and we're even seeing, I think the world has moved away from, you know, this world of paper-based, you know, no technology and understanding to now everything is automated, it's driven by data. And so it's, it's the future, right? It just really makes sense that this is an interesting intersection of IoT, big data, you know, software as a service, this, this new world is, is happening. So yeah, you know, if you, if you want to be relevant in the future, I truly believe that you cannot be successful if you don't adopt, whether it's Geotab or another technology, if you don't invest in the future, you're going to be left behind. And so I would urge any company to, to look at this immediately and, and consider it. Y para concluir, lo traemos a la región para saber qué piensa respecto del futuro de América Latina y también cómo es su relación con Logística Facundo. This is, to be honest, my very first time to Latin America, and that's very bad on me. I came from, from South Africa in the early days, and South Africa in some ways has some of the challenges that Latin America has. Um, I'm very, very excited about the opportunity to grow in Latin America and, you know, we're in the earliest days decided that an important market for us was, was Latin America. It's one of our fastest growing regions in the world. Uh, we're super excited to see Latin America embracing the technology. Um, so I see lots of opportunity, you know, starting with the largest fleets, but now moving down to the smallest fleets to help improve safety, efficiency, security. These are the things that really, really matter. Um, and even sustainability. I mean, there's starting to be a swing in Latin America to look at sustainability first from the point of view of, you know, how can I minimize wastage of fuel? 
and gas and then eventually move towards um, electric vehicles. So really exciting. And then yeah, in terms of Facundo, like what an amazing company. I think that this, this really stands out for us as being a company that represents the best of the Geotab customers in the sense of one, embracing the technology, realizing, you know, ahead of everybody else that technology can change the way they run their businesses, how well the business works. Um, and then also, it's got a special place for me because we're a family business and this is a family business too. So it's really nice to see um, the kind of relationship. I know exactly what it's like to start with family and kind of build the business from the ground up. So that's exciting. So really for us represents, um, you know, a really exciting customer and, and one that should stand up and we should, you know, celebrate as being, you know, a company that really is the values of Geotab and what, what you can actually do with this technology. So an amazing experience. I did not know what to expect when, when I came to Argentina and I did not know what to expect from, from the family business and um, truly, really eye-opening. I think, you know, you, we, we live in our own little world in North America and we don't understand there's some amazing innovation happening down here, lots of opportunity, um, an exciting country and an exciting place and a great company. So, yeah, um, I'm really glad, you know, finally that we, we came down here. I think more people should come and visit down here. Con más de 47 mil clientes en 150 países y más de 3,5 millones de vehículos, procesa alrededor de 55 mil millones de puntos de datos al día para que los clientes puedan tomar mejores decisiones, aumentar la productividad, tener flotas más seguras y lograr sus objetivos de sostenibilidad. Tal como anunciamos al inicio del bloque, compartimos una entrevista diferente desde la que abordamos una temática en pleno auge y desde la óptica del creador de la compañía, que es un referente en dicha materia. 